So the glide, one of the things that's tough about it, it's super, super linear. And if you don't get that linear line right, bad things are gonna happen. So what we're gonna talk about in this video is a simple way to keep your thought process on staying more linear to reinforce that so you throw farther. Here we go, check it out. It's Eric Johnson from Air Tate Throws Racing. In today's YouTube video, what we are going to discuss is the linear line of the glide. So one of the things that's super important to remember is that the glide, a simple tip to think about is that you always have to keep everything moving on that line. The shot is moving in a straight line and then it's going straight out. And that's why you see the difference in the finish between a rotational thrower and a glide shot putter. So one of the things you're gonna notice is as throwers go in gliders, gliders tend to pull the block arm from high to low and that's where you're going to see this type of emotion where they're here and you're going to see that type which is allowing them to get the hip through and come through and this is why you see the finish you see now if you think about it logically we have the glide line of the shot so that line that shot sits boom and then as it, everything opens here the shot putter is trying to keep that shot put back behind the knee they're gonna pull in and they're gonna get that hip and you're gonna see that big extension. So one of the things that we address in the throwing chain reaction is obviously when we set up, we're setting up those linear lines. We wanna be real linear. Now again, we talk about something multiple times inside our membership, we teach three start styles. They're all different ways of essentially hitting the same mechanics and that's what's really important to understand. So when we sit here and we're working, we can be somebody like like Storl, who kind of starts more like this, and then he does this, and then he comes forward, so he leans into it like that. Whereas if you look at somebody like Michelle Carter, she stands tall, and this is kind of more of what we teach, because we think it's best for beginning gliders, and then you can kind of develop the style as you continue to develop your technique as a glider. And then you see somebody like Valerie Adams again, super tall, look at Gong of China. So the point we want to focus on today is again, keeping you understanding that you really need to be thinking about out your shot a lot of young throwers they hit the power position right so once they hit here and they spin out if I'm throwing in this direction you're gonna see their arm go low and it pulls them and they're kind of rotating into the finish which is why if you have a glider who naturally kind of rotates out of their finish probably a good indicator that you may want to start with play with around with the rotational shot but we'll save that for another video the key thing here we want to focus on in today's video is to keep it simple and remember the glide is a super linear line so if you're spinning away Away from your throw at the finish then you're not hitting your right high point again what's going on in your chain reaction typically something's occurred here that's causing you to kind of shift and rotate out and so one of the natural reactions to a bad position is that if you're coming off the right you might be doing more of this type of a push instead of this this is why we recommend in our progressions we go through simple side shuffles and we go through step backs and we go through a single leg glide and we go through these different things that we're always trying to teach how do we get that right hip under us in the middle of the throw to help keep that shot on a nice linear line and remember here's the thing about that i say repeatedly about the glide shot it is less technical than the rotational shot however huge 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 however if you mess up a couple of things the glide will eat you alive the glide is definitely difficult to execute so it's really important that you understand how to set your chain reaction and one of the core things that's going to help you set up a better chain reaction is that we want to understand the position of the shot we don't want that elbow up here we don't want a rotational shot put or carry we want to see that elbow down low so it's going to lead to this position and that help with that nice big linear strike to drive the delivery side into the throw and get that nice big extension into delivery again simple video today simple concept but sometimes those simple things are the really the game changers that help you kind of take your technique and your train of thought into a better direction and that's the whole point here at Airtate Throws Nation so thanks so much for watching if you like this video be sure to give us a thumbs up comment below hit that subscribe button and we will see you on the next video be sure to check out our next videos be sure to subscribe visit our website for free videos click the links below we have links to our free mini course check out our websites for camps and different detailed information throw farther faster by understanding the science with the throwing chain reaction system thanks so much for watching